Kenvenidos en nostre clase, which means, of course, welcome to our lesson. Hi, this is Eran Stern, and the reason I open up with Spanish is because today we'll do an opening title to the notorious telenovela Afterista, which is a television serial melodrama of a type made famous in Latin America. Here, let me show you. For your information, our hero name is Afterista, and she's a beautiful young girl that all After Effects users love to hate. She's mystique yet sophisticated, and every 18 months or so, she's reborn in a new version, very much like the Phoenix. Yep, this is the real plop, sorry if I spoiled it to you, but you should also be aware that the series is starting now and will go on forever, probably until you die. Okay, this is all fictional stuff here. I just build it up so I have an excuse to show you a cool technique so you can build your own openers for soap operas and telenovelas using, of course, Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. In this first part, we will design our graphics in Illustrator, and then we will make it come alive inside After Effects. So let's get started now with Illustrator. I will start with Illustrator. Here we will design the title, and then in part two, we will copy it and continue the animation in After Effects. So first, let's go to File and choose New. And now you can choose a preset and I will choose the PAL preset and make sure the transparency grid is off because I just don't like to see it here in Illustrator and I will choose OK. Now I will take my text tool, make sure I'm typing black on white and just start to write Afterista, which is the name of our hero. And it comes out very small, so I will just scale it something like this. And now it's time to change the font. And I will press the character here and just choose my font and I will choose this one, Become Script Pro. Now Become Script Pro is a font that comes with Adobe bundles such as the Design Premium or Production Premium and Web Premium and so on. And please don't ask me to send it to you, it's not mine to give or share. I also bought it and got it with one of the packages. So. The reason I'm using it, and you should also use it if you like to follow my steps, is not because of the 18th century design here, which is also very nice. The reason is because this is an open type font. And since it is an open type font, we have lots of alternative to our letters. So we can change the design here very easily. In order to use all these alternative letters or characters, you need to make sure that the glyph panel will be present in your interface. The icon for it is this one, and if you don't see it, go under Window and then under Type, choose Glyph. Now when you will select your type and press the glyph, you will see all the alternative letters for this font and see how many we have here. We have lots of stuff that we can work with, which is absolutely fantastic and great. I really love this 18th century design and Become Script Pro is probably one of my favorite fonts all over. Anyway, so let's see how we can use it. What will be the easiest way to use it? Instead of seeing the entire font, I will go back to my text tool and just highlight the letter that I want to see. So now you can see it over here at the glyph panel. And now instead of entire font, let me just go one stage up here in the pull down menu and choose alternate for current selection. This will give us the alternative selection or the alternative letters that we can use. And if we see something we like, then we can double click it and it will change here in the window, in the design window. So in order to see them both, let me just make sure that this is a little bit higher, our text, and let's choose a couple of more alternative for our design. Again, I will go to the text tool and highlight the next letter, which is the F. And from this, I will have to choose a different angle, a different letter. So let me just first try this one. And I think this is really going to work for us. So we change the A and the F. And now let me see, the T looks quite alright and the E is also fine. We will need to maybe 
change the place where the letter connected. So let's again highlight this T and just choose a different alternative for it. So now the letters connect exactly how they should. Now let's highlight the R and I think that I will go with this one. So it's very nice now. And the I is okay, the S is okay. Let's change this T to something which is more interesting. And you of course can try several designs, but I think that I will go with this one. Yes, it is definitely going to look very good. And just to finalize it, let's choose the last letter, the A, and just make sure that we close it in some nice fashion, something like this. So now you see this glyph panel in Illustrator gives us all these options. And this glyph is missing from Photoshop and from After Effects. So we must go to Illustrator if you want to design something like this. And again, you must use an open type font like I'm using here. Well, to me, this looks very nice, but I think that we missed something here between the R and the I. So again, let's go and highlight the I and look for an alternative to it. And I will just hit the next one, which just make it look a little bit better. And now inside Illustrator, if you want, you can continue the design and just change the kerning, which is the space between the letters. So just hold down Alt or Option and using the arrow in the keyboard, you can just make sure that, you know, it's a little bit more tighter. And I think this looks quite all right for our design. We will do the animation inside After Effects in part two, but let me show you what will be the easiest method in order for us to get this text from Illustrator into After Effects. And we don't want it to be a live text in this part because we will use the stroke effect in order to animate it. So we need to go to the type menu and choose create outlines. And now we can go under edit and copy this text. Now we'll switch to After Effects and before I'm going to paste anything, let me just go under Edit Preferences and I will choose User Interface Color. And the reason that I'm doing this is going to help us a lot in the second part of the process. You only need to highlight this option, Cycle Mask Colors, which means that when we will paste this for each mask, After Effects will give us a different color and it will be much easier for us to control. So make sure Cycle Mask Color is Highlight, choose OK, and now you can start your new composition. And I will go to Composition, New Composition, and let's choose an 8 seconds. I'm using PAL as my default. You can do it whatever you like. And also let's name this one After Rista. So I'm going to choose OK for now. Now before we will do anything, let's just make a background here in After Effects. So make sure nothing is selected in your timeline and just double click the rectangular tool. This will create a shape layer in your composition. And let's change the colors to be something more appropriate to our designs. So first I will select the word fill and I will change this from solid color to radial gradient and I will choose OK. Now I want to edit the gradient color so I will press the gradient icon and let's change the colors. We will first need to switch them so let's do the white in the opposite side and instead of black I will just choose a pale yellow something in the beige area something like this maybe even brighter and choose OK. So I've got this very interesting background and I want to make it a little bit more obvious. So I will just use this little tiny circle to make this background be more of appropriate. So it's like a hot spot in the middle. And now you can close this shape layer and if you want, you can rename it back as usual, of course. Now we are ready to paste the vector information from Illustrator into After Effects. And in order to do this, we need to create a new solid. So go on the layer, choose new and create a new solid. And this will be our vector art and make sure it's comp size. And you can also change the color right now to some dark brown. So let me just choose something like this and I will hit OK. Now you can go to the edit menu and choose paste. And now we have our lovely Afterista logo. Look at it. After Effects created a different mask with a different 
color to each one of the letters it's actually not even each one of the letters each part of the mask so if we want to look at it without these colors here it is excellent now i recommend you to save your after effects project and join me in part two where we will continue to animate this and make it look even better until then this is ran stern for creativecow.net saying shalom